Hey guys, it's me, Risa. Welcome to my kitchen again. It's uh, the pandemic 19, depending on when you're watching this. So I'm home and doing lots of videos. And I started making cauliflower rice for myself for dinner tonight. And I thought, you know what? So many people say, how do you make cauliflower rice? Or where can I buy it? You know, and I keep trying to tell people it's so easy before i start to show you this really easy peasy way to make cauliflower rice and you're gonna thank me and say oh my god why did i do this for years i just want to mention i hope you've subscribed and ring the bell option so that you'll receive all my newest videos when they're published okay by email and of course sharing is caring i love that you're sharing my channel with others and let other people know how to get on a health journey and make good food choices, right? And all my other videos, my podcasts, my meal planning and meal prep ideas, gadgets that I have, lunch, breakfast, dinner, snacks, desserts, and all my recipes are written under each video as well. Your comments, keep them coming. And if you have questions, you know, don't be shy. All right. So, I've already started because I thought, oh, why not share how to do this? So easy peasy, here it is. Um, I've started um, with uh, a bag of already washed and cut cauliflower, okay? And um, I always um, like to cut it up into smaller pieces. And all I'm using is my Cuisinart, all right? and a blade all right that's it so make sure that you uh, you don't put too much in at a time because you want to make sure that you can pulse it and grind it up evenly okay because then sometimes if you put if you fill your Cuisinart and that's for anything else that you're trying to chop up don't put too much in it at a time take your time it's okay and um, and then you'll get a nicely fine chop okay. or result rather okay so we're just gonna pulse this I always start with just a few pulses And you'll see, and I always check it. Yeah, perfect. So you can see literally, it takes only a few seconds to form cauliflower rice, okay? And you can make stir fries, and you can make my cauliflower cheese muffins, and pancakes, um, and pizzas, uh, pizza dough with the cauliflower rice. It's so nutritious, um, zero fat and uh, filling, so, and versatile, which is great, okay? Um, and it acts like rice, and it, and it looks like rice, and I think it tastes very good. So, really easy peasy, I'll do one more. I just like to um, cut it up. Or you could just break it up yourself, you know, into just some pieces. I just throw it in. It doesn't matter because it's getting broken up anyways. So I like it into smaller pieces. Throw a bit more in. Put it on. Oops, there. And you can even push the the, um, the lever up and uh, like this one, I'll just lift it, this part. And you can just leave it on for a few seconds. My niece hadn't used her Cuisinart and I said, are you kidding? I use my Cuisinart almost daily for things because it's just so much fun and so much faster to chop vegetables. And you saw that it literally took seconds again to make. Okay, so again, really easy peasy and um, keep it in your fridge. 
I've never tried to freeze it because I use it right away. Um, but in a sealed container, keep it in your fridge. You can try to freeze it. I just find that when you um, freeze this kind of vegetable afterwards, it might be a little bit more soggy or watery. So I don't know. You can try and let me know, of course, because, you know, sharing is caring and we have to help each other on this health journey as well. So check out my other recipes to use cauliflower rice and I hope this helped you guys. Take care. Bye for now.